So not too long ago, I was looking for some free 3D models to use in a project, and I came across this hilarious looking duck model. I don't know why I thought it was funny, but I mean just look at this dude. Anyway, I thought to myself, man, I should totally make a game out of this. So I did. Oh well, not quite, but I started thinking about what kind of game I would make. So I did some research on these video game things, and I found out that people really like shooting stuff. Which is kind of messed up when you think about it, but that's okay. So, we have this duck, and we like shooting things, so what if we gave the gun a duck? Wait, that's not right, uh... Oh, we gave, we gave the duck a gun. Um, yeah. So the game's about a duck with a gun. It's gonna be this really stupid third-person cover shooter about this duck taking down the mob or something. This is about all I've done so far. I've got a pretty good idea of how I want the game to play, but I haven't really figured out all the specifics, and I think that's part of the fun. Like, a painter doesn't need a class diagram before they start painting, right? Who needs organisation anyway? But I do have some core ideas that I want the game to be structured around. First, and most important, it should be goofy as hell. Like, you play as this janky looking duck, um, you know, this can't be something that takes itself seriously. I really want to pack the game full of duck puns, fourth wall breaks, and really stupid gags. Just to give you a taste, I really want to have the duck nests be where you save, and uh, every time you save you lay an egg, and then when you die, the next iteration of you pops out of the egg. Like, it doesn't really make any sense at all, but I thought it'd just be kind of funny to chuck in, and uh, it pretty much sums up the vibe of the game. Now in stark contrast to that goofiness, I want to make it really hard, um, since some of the favourite games are Super Hot, Hotline Miami, and Heavy Bullets. There's just nothing more satisfying to me than finishing a level after repeatedly getting your teeth kicked in by the game. But of course we'll have options for other difficulty levels, and probably even a mega super duper duper hard mode, if you're really messed up. I also wanted to take a different approach to cover mechanics. The thing that's always annoyed me about third person games is that you have this huge advantage of being able to see around cover. On top of that, you can peek with crazy accuracy to wherever you want, and then, just because the designers didn't think you have enough advantage, you're partially protected from enemy fire, letting you easily murder thousands upon thousands of virtual bad guys. But it won't be that easy with this game. First, since you're a duck, you're too short to peek over cover, so you can only peek around the sides of cover. And then when you do, you're more or less exposed based on which side of the cover you're peeking. Which is kind of a quirky mechanic based on how thick this duck model is. And could create some kind of interesting level design trade-offs in combat. Finally, I want some good AI. And I don't mean like crazy machine learning stuff, I just want the dudes I'm shooting to be smarter than a wet rag. I'm so sick of these games where AI just leg it from behind cover and eat a bullet instantly. Like. That would just never happen in IRL, and you'd at least peek first, or have a really good reason to bolt, since you probably don't like the taste of bullets. And it doesn't really seem fun to just mow down hordes of stupid enemies from behind cover like you're playing some sort of messed up whack-a-mole. So, I want the game to have fewer, but smarter enemies. For example, if they know where you're hiding, they'll cover the position and wait for you to peek. They'll also move around the level pretty cautiously, instead of yoloing across the map, and coordinate better with each other. I want the gunplay to feel a bit more like a game of cat and mouse, in kind of enclosed spaces, and reward you for clever positioning and playing the angles. But to balance this out, enemies will be pretty squishy, only taking one or two hits to die, which I think is much more satisfying. Will all of this work? Is it even possible? Most importantly, will it be fun? I have no idea, and the MVP isn't even done yet, so we won't find out for a bit. But you're welcome to come on this journey with me and find out, friends. You may be wondering, cool game, but who is this guy? Can he really do all this? And the answer is, I have no idea, but I can tell you a bit about me. I'm still a student and finishing off the last year of my IT degree, majoring in games here in Melbourne. I've been using Unity since 2016, and been writing code on and off since about 2014. Since then, I've worked on a good few projects ranging from uni stuff about tactical dancing, to jam games about throwing stones, to spooky little personal projects, and to a huge multi-year long VR project. So I guess you could say I'm pretty comfortable with the Unity. My skill points are more stacked in programming and design at the moment though, so making this solo would be a challenge, which is why I want to take a bit of a different approach to dev this time around. Basically, to make things easier for me, I want to try and use as many free and creative commons assets as I can, which are assets that are free to use when you list who made them in the game. I don't want to be reinventing the wheel if someone's already done it. So the main bad guy is from a previous jam game made by a mate and animated with Mixamo, which is a super cool automatic online rigger and mocap site thing by Adobe. The Ducks model is from this site called Poly by Google, licensed under Creative Commons. Toon Shading was just this asset we bought from the asset store for a past uni project because making shaders scares me. All this stuff would take me ages to do on my own, and this approach saves me heaps of time and makes solo dev much easier. 
Indie games are dear to my heart just because they kind of do whatever the hell they want. I think this gives them a freedom that isn't nearly utilized enough. So instead of trying to chase perfection, I'm just kind of embracing the crappiness. For example, the main character of the game isn't even animated properly, it's literally using the inbuilt Unity animator. So all the joints are super stiff, just because I think it's hilarious to have these goons that are nicely animated with mocap and you play as this janky duck that just kind of waddles around awkwardly. It's also so bizarre to me that most game makers basically chuck everything away after they've finished a game, never to be seen again. Sure, there's usually good reasons for it, legal or otherwise, but I'm just some guy. Laws don't apply to me. So I'm planning on giving away the source code when I'm done, so people can see how the game works and reuse the assets and code in their own projects, like I've been doing. Or even change the game however they like and play that. Since I have no idea where this game is going to go, I want to make it a bit more of a collaborative process. So if you have any suggestions for the game, leave them in a comment below. Later on, I'll also open up some polls on my Twitter, at DarkPizza, and uh, YouTube to vote on what features to add next, and that sort of stuff. Because it really isn't my game. It's our game, comrade. Uh, anyway. So, if you want to come on this crazy journey with me, I'll be posting kinda regular updates and progress here. Maybe like once every two weeks or so. I'll see what goes with uni, um, once I finish up I'd like to get these things going pretty regularly. So make sure to like and subscribe gamers. All that good stuff will help with the algorithm, uh, meaning more people watch this, meaning more motivation for me, meaning the game gets done sooner, and you can play it. So make sure to smash that mother subscribe button. <laughs>